Hi, it's Christine from Reading Escapades and Math Explorers, and today's video for the SAT, I want to show you how they take something very complicated, um, or how they make something very complicated out of an extremely easy question. And this is one of the tests that, one of the questions that's been on the other thing. I did change up the colors a little bit, as you can see here, because there's so much, no, so many numbers, we couldn't fit it all in one screen. On the test question, as you can see here, this is the question. And most people, including myself, for the very first few seconds, said, oh my goodness, what are all these numbers? What is going on here? And then we read the question. The above formula gives the monthly payments M needed to pay off a loan of P dollars at R percent interest rate over N months. Which of the following gives P in terms of M R and N. What does that mean? Well, this is where they're taking, they're trying to test something very, very simple, but they're making it difficult. They're trying to test something that you learned in seventh or eighth grade. And so the first thing is this whole first sentence is irrelevant. We don't care about that. What they're trying to do, and that's part of the, how they're trying to trip you up. They want you to write this equation in terms of P, where P is the first letter. Okay. So let's just look at, I'm going to go to a, a, a new sheet. Oh, that's bright. Um, let's go to one. And if I had, and we did this, and we did, um, write this equation in terms of p we have to that means that we just have to get p by itself so how do we get p by itself we have to divide by x so we would oh x over there sorry <laughs> so p would equal m over x let me change the background a little bit so it's not so there that's better Okay, so that's the basic thing they're trying to do. Let me make do something a little bit um, more complex. So if we have m equals two thirds times p, how do we get p by itself? We're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which would be three over two. So then we get m equals three m over two. And I just, really what I did, let me show you, I did two steps at once. That's not going to look very nice. It'll be 3m over 2 equals, and these two cross off, equals p. And then I just put p first. These are the same two things. But it's kind of like listening to Yoda speak in Star Wars, where everything's kind of backwards to our ears. So this is like Yoda speak. But this is the correct and proper way. And that's what they're looking for. So if we go back to this page, all okay, right, and if we just take this whole kit and caboodle and we just think of it in terms of that two thirds, what did we do? We flipped it upside down. And so all we have to do is take all these numbers and flip it upside down. So these two are not this all flipped upside down. So that's just simplifying it, and they only um, between the two. You can't simplify. You can't get rid of these two because this is attached with a negative one. And when you have adding and subtracting problems that are attached by adding and subtracting, it's like having um, a couple that's been together for a long time. You're not going to go in and try to steal their boyfriend or girlfriend. You're going. You, so that's what the adding and subtracting does this one. There is a long-term couple, so you can't break them apart. It wouldn't be right. You can do that for uh, when it's multiplied. That's kind of like a casual dating. But this isn't multiplied. This is attached to something. So we can't get rid of it. So those two don't work. So then we're looking at these. We have to flip the reciprocal of this. And so that's where we get this one right here. We have the negative one up on the top, and the top has been flipped to the bottom. And that's all they want you to do. All 
Again, they just want to know if you can flip this to the reciprocal to get P by itself. Super easy question, but they make it difficult with all kinds of numbers. Whoops. Involved. Well, good luck on your SAT and uh, stop back again for more videos. Please let me know if this is helpful. Thanks a lot. Have a fantastic day.